In The Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington, king of Halloween Town, discovers Christmas Town, but his attempts to bring Christmas home causes some confusion. What's up, my dude? Your friendly neighborhood Tony here. Welcome back to another Throwback Thursday video. And on this Throwback Thursday, we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, if you're not familiar with my Throwback Thursday series of videos, every week I dig into my pile of movies and pull out one that's celebrating a major anniversary milestone. I'll let you know some information about the movie, who made it, what it's about, all that good stuff. Then I'll go into my thoughts on the movie overall, pros and cons. And finally, we'll look at the best way to own the movie, going over the Blu-ray picture quality as well as sound quality and special features. So if that kind of thing sounds cool to you and you wanna keep up to speed on all the new big movies that are coming out as well as learn about some classics, make sure you subscribe. Also, since I now own The Nightmare Before Christmas on 4K, I have no use for my Blu-ray copy. So if you wanna win this exact copy right here, I'm gonna give you a secret phrase later on in the video for you to post in the comments below. So stick around to the end of the video to hear that. Post the phrase in the comments along with your Instagram or Twitter handle, and I'll pick someone at random to send this to. All right, The Nightmare Before Christmas, also known as Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, came out around Halloween time in 1993. And it's been hotly debated ever since whether or not this is a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. Let me know which one you think Think it is in the comments below. Despite the fact that it's known as Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, it was actually directed by Henry Selleck, who would go on to direct James and the Giant Peach, Coraline, and most recently Wendell and Wilde. Tim Burton did write the story and produce the movie though, so I'm not super bothered by his name being on it. Although I do think Selleck deserves a little more respect. The movie stars Chris Sarandon as the speaking voice of Jack Skellington and Danny Elfman as his singing voice. Elfman also produced all the music in the movie and also on most of Tim Burton's other movies for that matter. And fun fact, did you know that Danny Elfman was the lead singer of the 80s band Oingo Boingo? They got some jams. Check out Dead Man's Party when you get a chance. Now, aside from Jack Skellington, you've got Catherine O'Hara, which is the mom from Home Alone, playing Sally, Jack's love interest. Paul Rubens is also in the movie, rest in peace. And there's a few other actors that you might recognize. The movie made about $95 million in theaters on a $24 million budget, making it a pretty significant financial success and would go on to make a ton more on home video. In addition to being a financial success, critics also love the movie. It's currently sitting at about a 95% on Rotten Tomatoes, with the critics' consensus saying that it's a stunningly original and visually delightful work of stop-motion animation. It was also nominated for the Academy Award for Best Visual Effects and the Golden Globe for Best Original Score. The Nightmare Before Christmas is an iconic, Halloween slash Christmas movie. There have been cartoons and video games and comic books and an insane amount of merchandise made about this movie. And I just feel like it's just as popular now as it was 30 years ago, if not more, to be honest. Just walk into a hot topic and you'll know what I mean. Now, as far as the movie itself is concerned and my thoughts on it, I'll start by saying this. And please, don't yell at me. But I have not always been a fan of Tim Burton's movies or really his style in general. In fact, there are a few of his movies that might surprise you that I actively cannot stand. So, coming into The Nightmare Before Christmas, I remember being a little wary and skeptical of just how good the movie might end up being. But thankfully, it blew past my expectations. The overall concept is so creative and interesting, with Jack, someone whose whole life has revolved around Halloween, finding out about this vastly different holiday, and his journey trying to figure out what it means to celebrate it. You know, more than just gifts and trees and a fat guy with a beard, it's sweet to see him him uncover the true meaning of Christmas. Also, all the characters are twisted and surprisingly adult, but still lovable and very memorable. I love the way they animate everything, and despite the fact that the movie is 30 years old now, I don't know if I've ever seen stop motion animation done better. And not just the animation itself, but the set design is incredible, particularly when you consider the budget and the time that this came out in. Oh, and the music? Amazing. There are so many earworms that you'll be singing over and over again for years to come. The only possible negative that I can think to mention, and I really don't know if it's an actual negative, is that it might not be for children of all ages. It can be pretty legitimately spooky, and there are some serious adult themes about depression, anxiety, self-harm, and some genuinely really heavy stuff for a kid's movie. But look, and I hate to back in my day you, but really, there were 
so many more adult movies we all saw as kids in the 90s. And we turned out fine, right? All right, so surprise, surprise, it's an absolute classic, of course. But how is the 4K release? Does it look better than the Blu-ray or, God forbid, the DVD? Well, before we get into which version of the movie I recommend, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by you. That's right, I'm just a tiny little channel here without any big corporate sponsors or anything like that. So just by watching these videos, you're really helping me out. If you want to be super dope though and show your support in the easiest possible way, do me a solid and just click that little thumbs up button below the video and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on The Nightmare Before Christmas or what's your favorite Tim Burton movie of all time? For me, it might be Sweeney Todd, actually. You can also now join as a channel member if you want to help support me financially. Or just subscribe for free if you want to keep up to speed on all the new big movies that are coming out, as well as some throwbacks like this. So, either way, if you do, I appreciate it. All right, let's get on to the actual Blu-ray. Now, the 4K release of The Nightmare Before Christmas is a two-disc set that comes with the prior 25th anniversary sing-along disc, as well as, of course, the 4K disc, which is region-free. You also get a digital code copy if you're into that kind of thing. Now, as far as the video and audio are concerned, the 4K is a significant step up from the Blu-ray. Although you don't get Dolby Vision or Dolby Atmos, this is still the best this movie has ever looked or ever sounded by a long shot. However, although the video and audio has seen major improvements over the Blu-ray, the special features have not. They are exactly what you get in the prior release. Nothing new here. That said, there is quite a bit to check out. But before we get into that, my secret phrase for the Nightmare Before Christmas giveaway is Oogie Boogie. That's right. Post Oogie Boogie in the comments below with your Twitter handle or your Instagram handle, and I will pick someone at random to send this copy to. Okay? Easy enough? All right. Back to the special features. There is a whole sing-along option where you can jump to your favorite musical numbers in the movie. There's an audio commentary track with Tim Burton, Henry Selleck, and Danny Elfman, which is just an insane group of dudes to listen to talk about this movie. There's a making of featurette, which I always love making of featurettes, a special uncut version of Frankenweenie with an introduction by Tim Burton, the original poem that Tim Burton wrote that led to the creation of The Nightmare Before Christmas, narrated by the late Christopher Lee. That's right, Saruman. There's a featurette called What's This? Jack's Haunted Mansion Tour, some deleted scenes and storyboards, as well as a storyboard to film comparison, and some posters and trailers and all that usual stuff. Really, everything you could possibly want. And that's it. That is everything that you get on the 4K Blu-ray version of The Nightmare Before Christmas. Look, The Nightmare Before Christmas is an absolute classic. If you haven't seen it already, I am shocked. Definitely fix that immediately. And if you have seen it and you agree that it's a classic, you have to own it in some form or another. And truly, the 4K Blu-ray is the best this movie has ever looked, so I highly recommend you pick it up, preferably using the links in the description box below. If you don't know, those are affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra, but if you go through them to buy this movie or anything on Amazon for that matter, they give me a little kickback. So it's an easy way to help out the channel. Also, let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video. I really enjoy going back and looking into some classics or movies that I grew up with, and I hope you do too. And of course, if you wanna keep up to speed on all the new big movies that are coming out in theaters and at home, as well as these classics, Make sure you subscribe. All right, my dude, I'll catch you in the next one. Be good.